Your Hardware Canucks 2014 CES coverage is brought to you by NCIX. Technology connected. Perfect. Go. Hey guys, I'm here at Adata's suite at CES 2014, and we're here to take a look at some of the new and innovative SSD controllers, as well as a couple other little secrets that I'm gonna show a little bit later on. But the first thing that we wanna take a look at is two different PCIe SSDs. Now this one right here is the native SSD that is running the LSI Griffin 3700 controller. And if we go down a little bit further, this is the M2 version, both using PCI Express, and they both use the Griffin 3700 controller. Now, one thing I wanna tell you is that these are not available as of yet. We're hoping that they're gonna be available in mid 2014. So make sure that you keep your eyes out for that. Now, one of the really awesome things about these drives is how insanely fast they are. As you can see here, they can read and write up to 1800 megabits per second. This completely blows away standard SSD or SSD speeds. Now, they're not only going to have these PCI Express SSDs, we're also taking a look here at the SX930, which should be available as soon as the controllers are available, and they have up to two terabytes worth of capacity, but you're still limited to the uh, standard USB, or not USB, SATA 3 speed constrictions, which means you're only gonna be able to get up to 500 reads and writes. Now, it doesn't stop there. We're also gonna be taking a look at a brand new product. It is the Micro SSD, which actually has capacities up to 128 gigabytes. Now these are specifically gonna be used for mobile solutions like laptops or possibly even tablets, I'm assuming, correct? Okay. Yeah. So this is a tiny, tiny little chip that packs quite a powerful punch with the amount of capacity that you can have on such a small form factor. Now, I know that I teased you guys a little bit of one of the cool things that ADATA is gonna be coming up with later in the year. We're looking at mid 2014, I'm assuming. And this is DDR4. Now, we can't show you it working in a system, mostly just because we just don't have the boards available to us, right? So, but what we can tell you is that the DIMMs are ready. They're ready and good to go. So the second that we do have the boards available to the general public, ADATA will be one of the first ones to be releasing these DIMMs to you, the beautiful public. Oops, hopefully that's not too loud. All right guys, so ADATA also has quite a few different mobile options that center around power and your battery capacity. So one of the first things that I noticed when we came over here is we took a look at the CE700, which is a height adjustable wireless battery charger a wireless cell phone charger, I should say. So a, a couple Samsung devices will work with it, a Nokia will work with it, and it's head adjustable depending on where the contact point is. So you can see now we put the uh, four, the Nexus 4 down on the charger and it does accept the charge. Moving over a little bit, we have the PV100, which is a very slim 4,200 milliamp hour battery pack. Now guys, it's perfect, you can fit it in your pocket, throw it in your laptop bag if you want to, and it comes in multiple different colors, and MSRP is gonna start at around $32. Now moving on to the PC500, which is a little bit more targeted towards women, and it has a 5,000 milliamp hour capacity, and this one does come at a little bit of a premium price, so we're looking at $35 for the unit. Moving over to some of the XPG line of heat sinks for ADATA's DIMMs, we're gonna be taking a look at the XPG V2 heat sink. Now guys, the bottom two colors are already available, but they have seven other color options that you can choose from. And what I would like you to do is I'd like you to leave a comment on the description, or a comment on the description. I want you to leave a comment in the comments below so you can actually let us know which colors you guys would prefer, which ones would fit your build, which ones would you like to see. And you know what? Adata might actually end up reading these comments, listening to you, and making these into the production models. So guys, thanks for taking a look at the Adata suite here at CS 2014. And what I want you to do is I want you to like the video. And I don't want you to dislike the video because I know that you guys obviously love every single bit of content that you've seen here today. But if you want to dislike it, that's, that's fine. I mean, you can you, go ahead. No, please don't. But subscribe and make sure you take a look at all the other CS 2014 coverage that we have here. And you know what? We're live from Vegas.